night to another episode of Horror Night. Tonight we're going to talk about uh, William Hope and more specifically his spirit photography. Now what is spirit photography? Basically it's the belief that spirits can be captured through photography, you know, through pictures of other of family members, you know, taken and maybe seeing one of their uh, deceased loved ones showing up in the photo, almost like watching over them or being with them yet again. Um, it's a pretty, you know, maybe disturbing concept for some, but we're going to dive into this and, you know, talk about this William Hope guy who is kind of like a, the, I guess you could call him the pioneer of the so-called spirit photography. He was the first one to really capture it. Um, he was born in 1863 and um, he was a member of the spiritual group, uh, which they called the Crew Circle, but um, his first photo wasn't taken until around like 1905 and then that's when he formed the group the crew circle you know people that you know believed in the same sort of thing using photography as a kind of a, a spiritual way to contact you know the dead um, now we're gonna get into whether this is real or not there's you know sides to both stories with everything of course guys so it's up to you to decipher whether you believe that this is this is something that's real or a hoax um, depending on what you believe. Uh, I do have, obviously have my notes here. Very old school, this is how we do Horror Night here. I love doing these. Um, we just kind of talk off the cusp with some notes now. People would actually pay um, uh, William Hope to take pictures of them. So, in you know, they could see their loved ones, their dead loved ones. They would literally pay him money to say, hey, come take a picture of me. You know, my grandfather passed away, my grandmother passed away or anything. And, you know, it begs the question, if there was somebody who was able to do this, say they were able to actually take photos and capture spirits on film of dead loved ones, would you do the same thing for somebody that you love that passed away? Would you go get your picture taken? Would it be too much for you? you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty heavy question because, I don't know, like, one part of me would be curious one part of you would probably be curious too the other part might be scared or might be almost too emotional you know with it happening so but people would pay him to do this um, now it didn't come without its scrutiny and without its non-believers um, people like Edward Bush and especially Harry Price in 1922 who was who worked for the Society of Physical Research um, they both thought William Hope was full of crap they believed to use double exposure. There was a lot of people coming out saying about double exposure. And honestly, there was a lot of proof showing that. Showing that some of the, the so-called spirits on the film were just actual photos taken of the loved ones from before that were just double exposed over the, the new ones. And you know that's kind of hard evidence to not say that it's fake, you know? Um, but that's what they believe. But Arthur Conan Doyle, who worked for... Um, uh, the physical research actually ended up firing 84 people because he believed that these people were opposed to spiritualism. So there were people that were on William Hope's side and believed that there was like this, almost this, this rush against him that it, it was fake, but he was one of the ones that actually kind of believed in what William was doing. And of course a lot of people who paid to get their pictures taken believed they were seeing the spirits of their loved ones from William Hope. Um, including no exposure. Now, during his photography section, sessions, he would um, often be doing reciting prayers and even religious hymns. And some people thought that was just part of the shtick, part of the part of the show to, you know, keep the con alive. Um, uh, I'm not sure when he passed away, but, um, you know, eventually he stopped taking photos. And I think a lot of it was probably because all the, you know, people coming out saying that it was fake and that he was a fraud probably got to him after a while. Um, but some of the photos that he did take, I do have to share with you guys. And whether you believe that they're real or not, I personally, you know, I they don't seem real, but they're downright disturbing to look at nonetheless. Especially one, the first one, um, or one of the ones I'm going to show you guys, are the Gibsons and uh, their, past, their loved one who passed away. So I'm going to show you a few photos here at the end that William Hope took. Um, these are real photos and whether you it's up to you to decide whether you want to believe that they're actual spirits or double exposure it could go either way 
you know I don't know I think most likely it's double exposure but there's a you know there's always a chance that maybe he did capture something now as far as the concept itself I think it's something that's possible and there's a lot of photos out there with things showing up you know that are just unexplainable you know not something that I've personally taken pictures of but I have seen a picture um, that somebody took somebody that I know that took um, that something showed up that just wasn't right it was just really weird and creepy and he himself has no idea why it was there or how it showed up and it was at a haunted place so yes I think it's possible to capture some stuff on camera that maybe we can't see with the naked eye or maybe we don't notice um, so it's definitely possible but these photos themselves I don't know that they're real but again it's up for you guys to decide with William Hope whether you think these photos are real or not so take a look at these disturbing photos and then in the comments below you guys can tell me what you believe if, if you think that the concept is a real thing or whether you believe that these photos were actually ca capturing spirits themselves so thank you for watching I really appreciate the support on the channel hope you enjoyed this episode of Horror Night and uh, stick around for those photos alright guys they're, they're, they're definitely not uh, the most pleasant thing to look at they're, they're a little disturbing whether